Let's go. And we will say, oh. the topic for our discussion and for our prayer today. God's time is the time. And our reading is still in the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ as recorded by St. John in chapter 7. And we'll be starting from the very beginning of that chapter. So let's go. After these things, Jesus walked in Galilee for he will not walk in Jewry because the Jews sought to kill him. Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. His brethren therefore said unto him, Depart hence and go into Judea, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret, and he himself seeketh to be known openly. If thou do these things, show thyself to the world. For neither did his brethren believe in him. Then Jesus said unto them, My time is not yet come, for your time is always ready. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth. Because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Go ye up unto this feast, I go not up yet unto the feast, for my time is not yet full come. When he had said these words unto them, he abode still in Galilee. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. God's time is the time. The story here is after that encounter of Jesus with the people that he fed the 5,000 and the disciples were witnesses of how the congregation of the people that were there responded to his declaring himself as the bread of life, which was just the absolute truth, you know. And some of them thought, oh, this, those were hard sayings even for them too. And so they were now wondering, well, there was the Feast of Tabernacles coming. And you are saying you are the bread of life. You fed 5,000 people. You've done so many things. Why don't you go to Jerusalem, you know, the capital city, so that you can showcase what you are capable of doing. And then we, your brothers, will also be able to boast that I am the brother of that Jesus, the man that you see doing those great things in the city of Jerusalem. But no, Jesus would not do that. He said his time was not yet come. In any case, he was going to give his life when he chose to do, when it would be in line with the will of God the Father, when it would be in line with the full preparation for the dispensation of the Holy Spirit when it would be in line with 
the eternal plan of God that it will be part of Easter, you know, when they will be celebrating the Passover and so many other things will follow. You know, because like I've discussed with you before, Easter had always been a celebration of the Passover and other feasts up to Pentecost. You know, it was just that Jesus chose that season by eternal plan of God for him to submit his life, to be crucified, to resurrect, to ascend, and then 50 days later, to uh, after walking the surface of the earth uh, for quite some time, to let the dispensation of the Holy Spirit to manifest on the sons of men. So if Jesus had gone to Jerusalem at this point in time when his brothers were encouraging him so to do, he would just have gone for nothing and he would just have been killed without fulfilling the mandate, without being part of the choice as the lamb to slay forever, which he did during what we now call the Palm Sunday, because that was the time that the Jews would always select the lamb to kill for Passover. So everything will not have been in sync with what we finally have recorded concerning him, that he died during Easter and that he resurrected three days after, and that after resurrection, he walked the surface of the earth for 40 days. And then on the 50th day, which was Pentecost, then uh, after ascending, he released the Holy Spirit. So everything just fitted into those feasts of the Jews. If he had gone before his time, then everything would just have been modeled up. And so the man insisted, the man or the God, God, the Son, Jesus Christ, insisted he was going to stay on in Galilee, and that he did. I pray for you that you will always have wisdom to know what to do and when to do it so that you don't act at the wrong time in the mighty name of Jesus so that God's time will be the time for you in everything to you that you do in the mighty name of Jesus. So don't want to manifest or to display ordinarily until it is time for you to do that which God has purposed that you should do. Don't let anybody push you don't let any power, you know, that knowing or that knowledge that that power is within you, so you want to quickly showcase it. No, relax. Let God's time be the time when you manifest as Jesus displayed here. And he is our perfect example. And so if we are talking about God's time being the time, perhaps for some people who had never known Jesus, it may be God's time today. That is the time for you to give your life to Jesus. Are you ready for that? If you are ready for that, it's simple. Just say this prayer quickly after me. Say, Lord, I come to you today. I know that God's time is always the time. I believe it's God's time for me today to give my life completely, yield it unto you, Lord Jesus, to continue to follow you, to continue to be part of your ministry, to continue to have that consistent hope of glory to reign with you forevermore, I pray in Jesus' name. Therefore, forgive me of my past, Lord Jesus, and let my story begin anew today. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to the kingdom. God's time is the time for you, and God's time was due for you to walk into the kingdom today. And I pray that God's time will always be the time for you to have successes in your life, to have miracles in your life, to have breakthroughs in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Now all of us together, let's say this prayer together. Say, Father Lord, give me the grace to discover my purpose. Give me the grace not to struggle to do things when I should wait until I will have grace to do those things. And by the time I do anything, in line with your word, O oh Lord, give me the grace that I will also reap from it in the mighty name of Jesus. Go out today 
recognize that God's time is always the time and fit into God's time and it will go well with you always in Jesus' name. God bless you. I judge you faithful. I judge